Okay, so we're back about a week later. Got my cylinder machined. Uh, it got in pretty quick, so I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, I cleaned up the surfaces on it. And so now it's time to put this thing back together. Sad part, I uh, left most of the hardware at home. So we're going to put the pistons on. You know, we got to put the flywheel on it, you know. We'll put everything that we can, and I'm going to clean everything up, and then we'll probably cut to in the garage again, and we'll put the rest of it together. Quick little side note, uh, if you're going to do something like this and put a sleeve in, in it, maybe just do all three, because it seems like the ports are different sizes from these two to this one. I tried to match them up as good as I could, but uh, it's hard to do when it's installed, which I don't really know how else you would do it without, like... Because if you cut these with it out and then you put it in, it's a little off, then you're just, you're screwed. So, yeah, probably should have just done all three, but we'll see how long it lasts, I guess. Whoever came up with the half moon key, I don't like you. I don't think a lot of people do. Gaskets are pretty nice. They're really tight on the pins, so I know it's going to stay on there. All right, so I know I probably skipped ahead a little bit here, but I'm in my garage. Uh, I got the engine as far together as I want it to be to go in. Uh, decided since I have the exhaust off. This is going to be a lot easier to put on in the machine than the carbs. These are, that's a whole thing. I don't want to do that. I, if I ever had to clean these, I'd probably just pull the engine. Super easy to take apart off the machine. In the machine, terrible. But anyways, I've got it together. I don't have spark plugs for it. That was an oversight on my part. I got to get some. So yeah, once I get it in, back in the machine, we'll... Uh, We'll get everything hooked up. Hopefully I can get it fired up and get it running and hopefully nothing's wrong with the jet pump on it. Right, so we're in the backyard here now. Uh, this is the next day. I got the engine in and I got it in through that hole. Now I know I'm probably supposed to put it through this big old mamma jamma up here, but uh, I didn't really want to deal with taking everything apart to get that off, which then you almost have to do to Put the oil pump and all that junk in there. You gotta put the battery cable back into that e box. Yeah, so there's a lesson. This was gonna be the longer and the harder way, but in the end, it's the easier way. So do that.
All right, pretty sure I've got everything hooked up though. Uh, I'm missing a clamp here. So I'll probably steal one off of my uh, 650 jet ski that's over behind the shed. Other than that, everything except for the oil lines. The oil lines were not on when I got it. And I'm wondering if they shrank or something. They won't, they won't even reach the pump. So I gotta get new oil lines, but I think it would be okay to see if we can get this thing to fire up. Um, I'm just not gonna ride it right now, but should be able to do a little dry fire here on the on the trailer. All right, so in that last clip when I said it was time to uh, crank it up, I was wrong. It wasn't. It was time to order a new starter. And now I have that starter installed. Um, I've also finished, I got the oil lines fixed in the time I was waiting for the starter. I also got a battery. Uh, never mind the paint roller on top of the battery. Must be the wrong battery. Had to put something on there to uh, hold it down. That was the best thing I could find. So, yeah. Um, it's all together. And now, if I hit the start button. Alright, so we've got one more thing to do before I take this to the water. I got some zip ties on here to run it with the hose. So I'm gonna take those off. Got a big hose clamp. I'm gonna put that on and then I'm gonna take this to my grandparents' pond. Uh, it's not a very big pond, but it'll let me test this thing out a little bit before I go make a fool of myself out on the lake. Alright, we got a jet ski in the pond. Pond's looking a little scummy, we're gonna clean this up for him. I should have warmed it up before I put it in. There we go. We're going. Visibility spout's working. She's way cold-blooded. 